All right, so we're in our warehouse today and imagine that we want to capture this space and be able to share that with somebody else, uh, somebody, a contractor we're working with or, or just somebody that wants to store something in this area. So we need to get a good uh, visualization of this space. Now, we can walk around with a camera and we can get a bunch of different shots um, or do old school measurements, get some, some tape and a clipboard. But we're actually gonna use a small device today that you can fit inside your pocket. So check this out. This is the Ricoh Theta X 360 camera. So we're gonna take a shot and it's gonna capture the full space and then we'll take several shots and stitch them together. But you can see that there's a lens on each side of this. So uh, front side or back side, but it does the whole thing at one time. Uh, this is a really innovative device. It uh, is GPS enabled. So when you take a picture, full you know, GPS information in there, touch screen interface, and also has a replaceable battery here on the side. So you, you know, bring a couple of those out and you can shoot all day. Uh, this has 46 gigabytes of internal space or storage to hold your images, uh, but it is expandable. So in this battery compartment, there is a micro SD slot that you can expand that storage. So now this thing's firing up. We're just waiting for it to come online. And a couple ways that you can capture um, your photos. One is that Rico comes with a free app, but we're actually gonna use the Matterport platform. And this device actually connects to the Matterport app. And so you can use it either by itself or you can use it interchangeably with other cameras. So for instance, if I wanted to get precise measurement uh, in the area, I would use uh, a Pro 3 and get that, that LiDAR scan. We already have the Ricoh Theta connected and now I can start uh, the capture. So all I'm gonna do is pick a spot. It doesn't really matter where you begin. Um, and then we will take an image and I will turn this around so you can see the screen. And then we'll start capture. So that's it. Now we've got the confirmation that uh, the scan is completed. We can move the camera. It, it was that fast. It took, I don't know, 10 seconds to actually do the scan. And then so you can see the first capture in here. Now you'll see in, you know, this is a, a great feedback tool because you'll see the shadow areas. So we'll just have to move the camera and scan again and it will auto stitch all of these different setups together. So to show you that, uh, I'll move it over here. Now, one thing to, to mention is, yeah, of course, I'm standing in the shot and this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm actually gonna show up in these images. So best practice, if we are gonna scan this space for you know, documenting or, 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 or archiving the space, then we are gonna probably wanna um, step behind a door or something like that. Now with the Matterport scanner, you can actually stand behind it and walk as it scans because it's only you know one line of sight. But this is doing 360 at one time, so it's best just to get out of the way. Okay, so we've moved the gear and now we've got a couple setups that are captured. So let's go ahead and keep this process going. Okay, so we've wrapped up the scan. It's in the app on our iPad. So now we're gonna do just a, a few trims and adjustments just to get rid of some data that we don't need. And then we will upload this to the Matterport Cloud and take the next step there. So we finally got the project uploaded into the Matterport Cloud. The Cortex AI has done its work and now we can jump in and explore the space. So I'm logged into our Matterport account right now, and then I'm gonna look at all the spaces. And so now you can see it here, the Tavco warehouse. This is what we scanned with that Theta X camera. And it's as simple as just jumping right into the space. You'll start in this dollhouse view, and then you'll zoom in. 
And then now it's, it's very intuitive. It's just like, uh, you know, looking at something in, in Google Streets, we can and go around and um, explore the space here. And uh, it's, it's amazing that we got all of this and the image quality and how everything is tied together from that, uh, that handheld Theta X camera. So uh, a few things, if you're not familiar with the Matterport platform, I'm gonna show you all of the, the cool things that you can do to share this space with other people and, and uh, you know, team, your team and collaborators. Uh, so we already saw the dollhouse view. That's how we, you know, first got into the file. Um, and then so you can, you know, zoom in and out here and, and pan this around. There's also a floor plan view. So if you wanna see what this looks like from the top down, um, you know, with the real image, uh, this button here does that. And then you can take measurements right from uh, this floor plan view. If you wanna look at different floors, because we did do the attic area, um, or the ground floor, uh, we can take measurements. And then so notice when I click the measurements icon, then we actually get measurements that automatically just appear on the floor plan, which is pretty cool. Um, now what we can do is we can, you know, again, double click and get into this space. And you'll see that I'm gonna go and, and get in front of this door. So we can, okay, that, so we can kind of get a feel for it. So again, we have some measurements that are already calculated here, uh, but say that we wanna know what the height of this door is. It's as simple as clicking the plus key and going and grabbing two points. And there you go, six, six feet, three inches. Um, you can also change the settings to look at this, you know, in metric if you want, but uh, most people just uh, stick with uh, Imperial. Um, so here's something that's that's really fascinating that Matterport has rolled out. Now, again, didn't do this with one of the bigger Matterport cameras. This is the stuff we captured off that Theta X, but because of the AI that's built into this engine, so now we can hide the furniture. So check this out. Well, it says hide furniture, but basically we're gonna empty the warehouse with just a click. So the AI goes in and does this for you. So you can uh, definitely get a feel for what this room looks like without anything in it. And if you wanna bring it back, it's completely non-destructive. You just turn it back on. There's the walkthrough. And you also have all of the extra items that are available in your Matterport account here. So you can look at details of the project or add more details. Um, this is the add-on section. So if you want deliverables, right that you can share with people or you can work with schematic floor plans cad files bim files e57 if you want that high density point cloud you're probably going to do better with something like this off the uh, pro 3 lidar camera but um you know it's available here for you uh media so this is doing a snapshot of these different uh, videos and images image stills that it grabbed from the tour we can look at the property report um, with some other information about the square footage that was collected and a, a, a general layout um, and then the stats here. So there you go. Hopefully you got a good feel of what you can do with the Theta X from Rico. Let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to answer uh, anything for you, help you along. We appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.